Time now for Around Town. Anna's checking out a cardboard city. Hey, Anna. Hello, everyone. I'm at the Viaduct Theater right off of Western, and it has become an exquisite city. Look behind me. That city you see down there, it's all made out of cardboard, inspired by Chicago, created by 70 artists, including our musician here, Chris. When we come back around town, we'll talk to the curator of this unique exhibition. Details coming up. Thanks. The Bears lost for us. But first, let's check in with Anna around town. Looks like the real thing, but this high-rise condo building is actually made out of cardboard. Good morning, we're at the Viaduct Theater at Exquisite City. Everything around me is made out of cardboard, except for Chris, who won't stop playing while he walks around. We'll talk to him. He's one of the 70 artists who created this great exhibition. Details coming up. Thanks, Anna. And Anna checking out a city made of cardboard. Hey, Anna. Welcome to Exquisite City. I'm here with Kathleen Judge, who was the curator, is the curator of the exhibition. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning. A cardboard city, how did the idea come about? Uh, actually, a friend of mine uh, and I were brainstorming about six years ago, Nico Case, and we got very excited about the idea of building a miniature city. And then through time constraints, we weren't able to get to it till this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, Is it Chicago? It's inspired by Chicago. Mm -hmm. Including, if so what are we looking at right now? Well, they're not specific, uh, artists were asked to mm -hmm. be inspired by Chicago, but they didn't have to do literal buildings. Got so it. this is a housing project, this mm -hmm. is a neighborhood on the west side. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the buildings are real and some are compiled. Tell me about this one, because this one has uh, insects this inside. Is, yes, this is a, has some cicada shells from the infestation of cicadas in 2007. So if you look inside the rooms, you can see them playing poker, it looks like. <laughs> There's one playing the drums over here. All righty. Yeah. And this is all cardboard. She just painted cardboard it in the white. painted it, yep. So how many artists participated? Let's go this um, way. Including the window dioramas mm -hmm. and the wall pieces, mm -hmm. about 70 artists uh, involved. And you told me this one is all about green this one, space. Well, this is an artist I asked. He works a lot with like colors and landscapes. I said, can you make a green space? And this is what he brought in. And I was like, this is beautiful, but it's not really what I was thinking, green space. <laughs> and then he said, he said, did you see my green space? And that actually is perfect for the city. What a cop out. <laughs> no, I thought it worked perfectly. And over here, this tree, this looks really neat. Yeah, this is, um, this is called uh, Chicago Jade Tree, and this is mm. by John Salas. And, um, I'm not sure what his motivation was, but I, I can see he used a lot of Heineken boxes, so. Oh, uh, see, that's a good form of recycling. Absolutely. Okay, so let's end with this one back here, which looks pretty neat. What is this? The wall is mm -hmm. actually a window diorama, mm -hmm. so each window is a different artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, pretty much they just created their own interpretation of space. Like uh, It was supposed to look like a high-rise, as mm -hmm. if you're looking into different rooms. You know, a skyscraper. How long is the exhibition going to be here? Till December 12th. And then what happens? Then uh, hopefully, well, a lot of the pieces are for sale, so oh, cool. it would be great if they were sold. And then uh, if not, the artist will come and pick them up. And recycle them. And recycle it. <laughs> Kathleen, thank you so much. You've been wondering about Chris, right? Dude, here, <laughs> please. Thanks. Every city needs their musician, right? Appreciate thank it. You, thank Chris. you, Chris. Back to you guys.